In Australia, all of us in some way rely on road transport every day of our lives. In cities and in the country, over all sorts of roads, people are constantly moving to work, to school, or for a thousand and one other reasons. Roads are our chief means of communication. They link us with all the other forms of transport. They link us with the railways which stretch across the continent. They link the inland with seaports and the countries overseas. And they link us with airports when we need faster travel. Roads are just as important in moving goods of all kinds. Trucks bring important farm produce, bales of wool, meat in refrigerated vans, wheat and sugar to railheads or direct to the cities. Roads help in developing natural resources. Coal comes from mines to city plants for processing and then goes out again for industries and homes. From our forests, timber is moved to timber yards and sawmills and then goes out to builders and to factories. Fresh vegetables, fruit and fish come in daily by road to the busy city markets. Every morning the markets are bustling with trucks as the food is sold and taken to shops. Mail services depend on roads in collecting and distributing letters and parcels. Fire brigades need them too to keep the city safe. Of course, nature doesn't provide us with roads. We have to build them. In the early days, settlers had to hack roads through the bush, and these rough tracks often made travel difficult in wet weather. Only slowly and haphazardly did roads begin to stretch inland. Many of them grew from tracks made by bullock wagons, a colourful part of early colonial life. The wagons hauled wool, hides and timber from isolated inland farms to the coast, taking back vital supplies. Henry Lawson described them vividly. A cloud of dust on a long white road and the teams go creeping on. Inch by inch with the weary load, and by the power of the green hide goad, the distant goal is won. When gold was discovered in New South Wales and Victoria, thousands arrived from overseas to try their luck at the diggings. With the hectic traffic to the gold fields, coach services grew rapidly. By the 1830s, a regular service linked Sydney to Melbourne. The most flourishing business was operated by Freeman Cobb. He imported several American coaches to the Victorian gold fields in 1853. The famous Cobb & Co coaches went on running until 1924. With so many migrants coming to Australia, the cities grew rapidly, and as they did, all sorts of new road vehicles appeared. Horse-drawn cabs were a familiar sight in city streets. And the first trams, drawn by horses, were introduced in 1861. In the 1880s came double-decker trams driven by steam. The motor car arrived around 1900, and soon there were so many that the government had to register them. They were soon followed by motor buses, and also by trolley buses powered by overhead electric cables. In recent years, 
the development of the diesel engine has given us bigger, more powerful motor vehicles. Motor coaches taking tourists around the country, tankers carrying large cargoes of oil and petrol, and in outback areas, road trains. Road trains are made up of a series of trailers hauled by a single motor. They have been specially designed to move loads of sheep and cattle over vast country areas like those in Queensland and Central Australia. Today, heavy duty lorries are seen everywhere on our roads. Big semi-trailers move equipment to open up inland areas where there is no rail or air service. And if you want to send a parcel in a hurry to any place in Australia, you can use the fast delivery services which run day and night and link all capitals and larger towns. Every year, as the number of cars on our roads increases, the number of accidents increases too. Preventing road accidents is an urgent problem for all of us. That is why the Road Safety Council sends out officers to schools and meetings everywhere demonstrating how we can all help to make road travel safe. The Road Safety Council is one section of the Department of Motor Transport established in each state. These departments supervise all the details of road traffic in their states, registering vehicles and issuing driving licenses. The department sets up lights which control traffic at busy points and keeps them in good working order. In some big cities, to help the police keep traffic moving smoothly, there are television cameras at the busiest spots. They send pictures back to a television traffic control center to give the police an overall view of city traffic. If there is a bad holdup, the operator can switch the traffic lights or call in local traffic police to help. On main highways, the Department of Motor Transport operates way bridges. Inspectors check the size and the weight of all cargoes carried into state, another way of ensuring that road travel is safe at all times. Building new roads is a costly and complicated business involving surveyors, draftsmen, and engineers. Often, whole hillsides have to be cut away. Most roads are built by a special department set up by each state government. State departments also repair older roads, widening them to cope with heavy traffic, often resurfacing them with bitumen and blue metal. Local governments provide many of the gangs we see at work in suburban streets, as well as road rollers and other machinery. Where major bridges are being built, the engineers often set up a laboratory nearby. They take samples of the concrete 
to test its strength. The appearance of our cities is changing dramatically as traffic multiplies each year. New expressways are being carved through our capitals and sometimes whole streets of houses are swept aside to make room for them. We need multi-storied parking stations to accommodate all the cars that crowd into the cities each day. New roads are being planned all over Australia. We need them to get access to natural resources in isolated areas, stone, minerals, timber, and to take them to plants and factories for processing. We need roads for moving all types of goods. And we need roads ourselves for travelling from one state to another, or for getting to work, or just for a run down to the beach. Australia is growing fast. More people, more houses, more factories. Watch the roads at work for a minute. Watch the different loads going by. You will soon see the many ways in which roads are helping our country to grow.